What's happening, Pandy Nation? Peter Von Pandy here. I'm going to show you how to protect your noggin. And when I say protect your noggin, I know when we talk about helmets, it's mostly about impacts, sudden stops. But I actually am not using it for that. Uh, we're getting polar vortex around here. Believe it or not, with wind chill, we are expected to hit negative 61 degrees. Are you kidding me? What is up with the Midwest? So anyway, I know that you can use this for motorcycling, snowmobiling, all those types of things. But really, my big purpose is to be able to go out in the winter, full face covered, do the work, uh, you know, snow blow my driveway without dying and having my face fall off. That would be terrible. Believe me. The videos would never be the same if that happened. So I picked this up, it's by Torque, it's a Bluetooth helmet. It was important to me to have Bluetooth too so I could take a call if I needed to, listen to my jams. Oh, Brittany, I don't snow blow without you, darling. Listen, uh, so I thought I'd give you to you here on a tabletop review. This one is, uh, oh, look at this, really nice, like embroidery on there. Um, this was not the most expensive helmet you can get. Certainly not the most expensive with Bluetooth. It was under 200 bucks. And so I'm just pretty impressed with it. Um, you know, it's funny. I think it's it's Torque Helmets. But when you do TorqueHelmets.com, it looks like Torch Helmets. Whatever. I'm weird. Listen, hey, we have a drawstring bag here. So let's see if I can undo this. And you get a couple straps. So you could absolutely put this over your shoulders like a backpack, which I think is kind of the point when you have these types of helmets and maybe you carry the bag in your um, saddle bags. Uh, obviously little backpack like straps on it or stops on it and if we open this sucker up I got this one there were two colors there was a red and then this kind of electric yellow or green and this is the one I picked up because I like this color. Actually I like the Seahawks Seattle Seahawks colors. I hate the team but I like their colors. Okay, so the other first thing I'll show you is all your stuff is attached to the chin strap inside. So you're gonna need a tool to free everything here. So I'm gonna open that up. Okay, so here we have this. This is a, it's a power cable and it's a single prong, kind of like a laptop cable, which is kind of surprising to me because I would have preferred it to be USB-C or USB, micro USB or something like that. We also, it says, do not remove this tag. Ooh, look, I did that. Oh, it's, I'll tell you, right there, see? It says, do not remove this tag. No one watches this channel, so I won't be in trouble. All right, so get rid of all that. All right, so we're into the helmet. First of all, I'll tell you what, uh, it's kind of cool looking. This is like a decal. It's like shrink wrapped almost or something. It's got little dots on it. You can see kind of a little pattern on it. It says Torque Helmets. Looks pretty nice. I like the, the colors. It definitely looks a little racy. Um, I'm also going to tell you here on the front top vent, you might be able to see that, but this edge is up. Not sure if that came out in shipping. It does snap back down there, but kind of hate always to see that, but no big deal, especially for my applications, but looks like that's down there. Oh, look at that. I can still pull it back up. So whatever the prong is that holds it in place is not super strong. Maybe a touch of glue might even help that if you need to. There's a little switch here, and I think that will open and close the vent up here, I'm assuming, kind of letting air in or out. Uh, that will kind of let the forced air that's sweeping over the helmet come in. That I think most of these helmets rely on the venturi effect. This low pressure is the air is kind of um, coming back together back here to kind of vent and use vacuum to pull out the air that's in the helmet, which helps keep it from fogging up or getting hot or getting sweaty so you get good ventilation. I also kind of like the little medallion right there, little logo medallion on the top. So you've got uh, some pretty big vents on the, the back there. You can see the side mechanism here for the deflector. You also have a couple of little tabs on the front so you can kind of reach up even with a gloved hand and lift this sucker up. And then it should probably stay in lots of these intermediate positions. Looks like open and closed are the big ones. That's kind of it. I like some of these will have some intermediate steps that I'll kind of ratchet into, but this one does not. So kind of keep that in mind. And then what you have here is a sunscreen. You can kind of see that underneath. And only use that during the day, not at night. But you can see right here, down here, I have a little slider switch and it's actually pretty easy to use. So that's kind of spring loaded to help make it easy to pop it open or closed. 
And sometimes these are really stiff, but this one is actually really easy. You can do it one finger, which is kind of nice. Um, I probably wouldn't need that, but I'll be honest, when you're on the snow or if you're snowmobiling or you know having that light reflect off the snow, it can really be hard on the eye. So a little boom shade like that can make all the difference. All right, so this one, I will also say, does not have the flip up face mask, right? So in some of these, you know, separation right here and this whole thing will pivot up. This one does not have that. Now, I actually would prefer that, but the reason I didn't get that is because I couldn't find one that did that in my size, at least not one that came Amazon Prime. So uh, that's gonna be a little bit of a trade off. I'll show it to you here when I put it on, but this one is an XXL. So I got it as big as possible because I have a giant, giant noggin. Now I do wanna show you kind of inside here. You can see we have a kind of a little nose guard kind of thing, shield. It's a little plastic thing. It's not super stiff. It's pretty soft actually. And that is gonna kind of help keep your breath from coming up onto the, the shield and kind of more stay down, right? And what we have is some openings here, some venting, some venting right here. Potentially it looks like there's a little switch here that opens and closes a little door in there so you can let more or less air in kind of depending on what that looks like. And so, uh, you know, hopefully I won't get foggy in there. If I flip it over here, what you can see is, man, massive padding. Uh, it's all gray. This is super, super padded. Again, this is an XXL. And so it's gonna be a pretty big shell because of, look at that. I mean, that's probably like an inch thick padding. Obviously it'll compress when you put it together. And you do have this little like pleather cap right here. So, you know, it should kind of come up to your chin and create a pretty good seal so you don't have air blowing up underneath, catching the helmet, whipping it off. But then also, you know, it should kind of protect you a little bit from flying snow. If you use this outside, this is mostly a motorcycle helmet. And you can see the chin strap here, obviously that same kind of gray material. Uh, it's not overly padded. It's really just the material kind of folded over once. There's really very little padding in there. But then you get um, this chin strap release here, which is not the most advanced or kind of my favorite. You can see here it's got a little bit of a, a button. And then it goes through a couple of these little D-rings here. And that's how you tighten it down. My favorite are the ones that work like snow boots where they just kind of ratchet in. There's a, a toothed end that goes in and you can just kind of ratchet it and kind of create a nice tight or loose connection. So we're gonna check out that Bluetooth. So if you peel up the back here, the, the access port to the battery is right back here. You can see it's not that big. And really the only thing you're gonna need here is to kind of uncover the port here. There's a little tiny rubber plug that's in it probably not going to be the easiest thing to demonstrate right this second but because it's single prong you're going to want to pull that up plug it in charge it up and then i think the switch right here uh, for opening up the cap so that you can get the battery out if you actually need to replace it so i'm just going to put that back in there and then we will definitely charge this up but on this side and on your port side basically you're going to have the control unit for the Bluetooth. So what you can see here is we have this like rubberized button. And so this is going to be basically like a rocker. It doesn't uh, completely rotate all the way around. So that's gonna allow you to volume up or volume down. I think I've got that in the right direction. Nope, maybe volume up and volume down that way. And maybe holding it down will advance track one or the others. And then it does act like a button. It's kind of soft. You can see it kind of depressed in the middle there. And that's gonna be your play, pause, answer, a phone call, whatnot. So I'm going to get this set up here and try it out and see what we think. What's up? So do I look like I should be riding a crotch rocket? Can't see anything. Um, all right. So first of all, this is an XXL and I'll tell you what, I don't feel like I have extra room. So if you have a big head, they do have a measuring chart and that's what I used you know, you're going to want to make sure that you get something that's obviously snug enough to keep you safe, but uh, big enough so that you're going to be comfortable. So if you're like me, you're going to want the biggest thing possible. Now I did go ahead and pair this and it works great. Um, I'm surprised at how good the sound is in these things. And you know, the music sounded great. And I suppose if I took a, a phone call, there's got to be a microphone around here somewhere. And especially when you're sealed up, you're kind of in your own little space. It's kind of like having a little portable cubicle and uh, you know, have that call while you're on a motorcycle outside, whatever. So, uh, you know, if you're even in the rain, you know, my thing is in the snow, 
I think that's going to work great. Makes me look the business. Anyway, check it out. I'll put a link to this tour comment in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.